My name is David Gambrell. I've been a singer-songwriter playing in coffee shops and bars in Louisiana and Texas. I'm a hymn writer with hymns published in an independent collection and in several denominational hymnals. And I was an advisor on matters of theology and worship for the Presbyterian Committee on Congregational Song, or Peacocks, the group responsible for the 2013 hymnal, Glory to God. But those are not the important things. The most important thing to know about me is that on any given Sunday morning, you'll find me lifting my voice with the people of God in worship, singing psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs, singing Hosanna and Hallelujah, singing praise, protest, and peace, singing blessing and honor and glory to God, and rehearsing for that great heavenly choir, that great chorus of witnesses gathered around the throne of the Lamb with an ancient and eternal hymn. Singing has been an instrumental part of how I found my voice as a child of God and found a place in the body of Christ, how I learned the way of the gospel and continue to live as a follower of Jesus, how I stay in tune with my identity and calling and keep the rhythm of spiritual disciplines, how I carry my faith with me throughout the day and even share that faith with others. When I remember all that God has done in my life and for the life of the world, when I'm moved with joy or sadness in everyday moments or events in the daily news, when I see glimpses of God's new creation and the life of the world to come, how can I keep from singing? In this section, we focus on just one of the 150 psalms, Psalm 22, best known to Christians as the song that Jesus quoted from the cross. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? In his shameful suffering and death, his cruel agony on the cross, the pouring out of his life in love for the world, what does Jesus do? It seems, perhaps, He sings. Jesus sings, or at least speaks, one of the psalms of lament. These biblical hymns offer us a way to sing and pray, even in the most desperate times of our lives, speaking honestly and openly to God about our fear and frustration, our anxiety and anger, even as we entrust our lives to God with faith, hope, and love. Jesus sings because even at the cross, God is doing a new thing. As followers of Jesus, we too can sing tribulation. The Psalms, especially the Psalms of Lament, challenge us to open our whole lives to God in prayer, bringing everything before God, holding nothing back. They provide a way to pray even in times of unspeakable anguish. They also teach us to sing and pray in solidarity with people who are suffering, oppressed, or in need. How will you sing tribulation in your daily life? You might make a playlist of songs that are prayers for you, songs that bring you healing and peace. You might share music you love with someone who's suffering. If appropriate, gathering to sing for someone who is sick, or dying. You might host a neighborhood concert or a hymn sing. Let music be a source of connection with others in the church or community, building networks of support. Exchange songs and stories with friends and loved ones, talking about what they mean to you and why they're important. Whatever you do, let your life give glory to God. Sing a new song.